before students get on the bus and walk into the building, their health is the number one priority. From vaccines to general checkups, we're on your side with everything you need to know so that your family is prepared. So this morning, I'm sharing some tips from a CHKD pediatrician. Back to school isn't just a busy time for stores or school districts. It's also a busy time for pediatricians. The big grades where vaccine records are a big change is going to be kindergarten, first grade, and then seventh grade. So your four-year-old vaccinations and your 11-year-old vaccinations, which for the four-year-olds, that's going to be your measles, mumps, rubella, varicella, and your DTaP. The 11-year-olds are going to need their meningococcal, which protects your brain, and your Tdap, which will protect you from tetanus. She says hepatitis C and HPV vaccines have been added to Virginia's list. While many families are vaccinated against COVID-19, the monkeypox virus is starting to cause some concern. Since monkeypox is not airborne, experts say cleanliness is key. So far, children have been um, limited in their exposures. It's usually a, a very specific exposure that's given it to them. So I don't think we need to fear them yet. I think we need to do the same things that we've been saying these past two to three years. Wash your hands. Uh, be careful about touching your face. When it comes to COVID-19 protocols in Virginia, masks are not required. They are still an option for those that want to wear them. If a child tests positive for COVID-19, they should remain isolated for at least five days. We're opening bottles every day and getting kids vaccinated, getting kids boosted because it's been over six months for some of those uh, uh, five to 11 and 12 and up. If you and your family are looking to get vaccinated, we have a list of clinics on our website at wavy.com. Bianca Holman, 10 on your side.